Hello and welcome to this third part of the Laserist database video tutorial. First I am going to show you how to use a data module and next I will show you how to develop a report with flash report with information from the SQL database. With the data module you can organize your application. If you use multiple forms and you have all your data objects on the forms themselves, your application gets a bit messy and you are likely going to duplicate the objects. With the data module, you can centralize your data objects and easily see if you are duplicating objects. A data module is like a form, but it doesn't get displayed in runtime. You can add a data module to your application with file, new, and then data module. Okay, if I've already done this for this application and I've connected them to the, the data uh, I've uh, put on the database objects and connected them to the database. Now I'm going to show you uh, how to use less report. If you don't have the less report tab on your uh, on Lazarus, then you can add it with this uh, package configuration. Uh, Uh, dialog. Okay, and now I'm going to show you the report itself. First I'm going to show you the data I'm using. This is the employee database that comes with Firebird as an example. Um, I'm going to use the country and the employee uh, uh, tables. This, the, this is the employee table. As you can see there are all kinds of um, there's all kinds of data from the employees in it. And now first name, last name, phone next, and country and salary. Uh, what is missing is the country, uh, the currency field. But we do have the country and with the country table, uh, which uh, has the currency, um, which has a currency field, we can find back the currency for our uh, salaries. This is also a neat construction uh, because uh, databases uh, this is a, is a better normalized database. Okay, um, here you can see the SQL query I've used. So I'm gonna select first name, last name, salary and currency from employee E and country C, where C dot country is E dot uh, job country. Okay, now here's the result of the query. And this is the layout I'm going to use for the report too. First name, last name, salary. This is the report object, and this is the dataset uh, we have to use. This dataset connects the data from our uh, database to the report. And to do so, you have to set the data source uh, of the data object to the data source on our data module. Okay, now we're going to design the report. It's You right click on this or, this of the report and then you click design, design report. Okay, this is the uh, report designer. This is an empty uh, report and this models the report. But this, these are um, menu items that are also on text uh, editors. And these are the report. Uh, these are alignment uh, items. The things we need is this, the 
in search rank tangle object you can put input the uh, text and uh, database fields and variables with uh, the rectangle object then the band insert insert a band you need the bands to uh, uh, to make the layout of the report uh, you've got several types the report title is intended to do the report title and then uh, but I'm not going to use it I'm going to use the page header to display the report title because then it gets on every, every page and this is for the data I'm going to use master data master is for uh, you've got master detail uh, reports oh, I'm gonna have to connect to the data source that's there data set we've uh, connected to the data source um, <coughs> you've got master detail uh, reports and uh, but this is more this is only the um, this report only got one main table and so that's the master table this is the text that is the that I'm going to type in for the title of the report so that's going to be displayed on uh, every page of the report Noise Rest Database Tutorial Salary Lists Report Okay, I'm gonna make the font somewhat bigger. I'm gonna stretch the field, stretch it past and piece back. Okay, make it somewhat higher. Okay, now I'm gonna add a page number and the data uh, data field I'm doing this in one in one text uh, field and dates and page number I'm gonna do the prompts page and date okay I'm gonna make the font a bit, bit smaller and I'm gonna stretch it a bit okay now we're gonna stretch the band a bit to uh, include the column headers column headers are just the text first name okay last name okay and salary okay now I'm gonna do the database fields use the same uh, rectangular object but now I'm going to choose DB field first name last name C 
celery and currency not very well to be filled okay <coughs> we can preview it right away okay it is looking good one thing I could have done is uh, left align the numbers then the number would uh, neatly align with the uh, with the currency Okay, now I'm going to save the report. We have to save it because in runtime, when we want to use the report, we have to uh, get it from the report file. Okay, I'm going to name it to trip three. Type it again, Sam. The trip three. Save. Okay, now we can close it. And I don't want to save it again. <coughs> Now I'm going to connect this button. Uh, if I press this button, I want to see the report. And I can do that by making a button handler. Deform one, button one click. And what I'm first going to do is load the report from the file. And it's going to there's the name I just uh, the file just saved and then I can show the report with report show report okay I run this press the button and there's the report Okay, we can print the report. Uh, HP uh, 1006. Okay, okay, that's printed. You can also add pictures and barcodes to the report, and you can uh, export the report as uh, HTML or CSV. You can also use this to uh, print invoices or orders or whatever. Okay, now I'm gonna uh, show that it's also running standalone without the laser uh, environment. So I'm gonna look for the executable. And it's here, down. Okay, and there we go. Show the report. Okay. That's it. That was this tutorial. Thank you for your attention.